Um, this is a smoking section. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Creative Drinking Club. Today I have with me Angelica. Angelica, hello. Hello. What's up? Well, uh, I'm here for Creative Drinking Club. I'm here with some cacao and ready to share and talk uh, talk about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk about you for a second first? Tell us a little bit about you, what your deal is, what you're into, what motivates you, what's your passion, what's your mission? Whoa, that's a big, uh, that's a big Three answer. sentences or less, please. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so a little bit about me. I used to be a teacher and um, I started being called into something deeper, something bigger. Um, I really wanted to help change the world, um, but I started thinking of different ways to do that. And yeah, so now um, I left the classroom. I started a business. The business is called Spiral Line, um, which is the word spiral plus a line squished together into one blended word. Spiral a line? Spiral line, yeah. It Just overlaps the, the, the A-L. The A-L. The A and the L. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of what uh, things have turned into because I see our path as a spiral, um, our path in life, our journey, and as I started to realize that and I started to think about and discover all the different ways um, to heal, to explore inward um, and align to my own path better, I wanted to start sharing that with others. And so that is what my business was born from. Um, this desire to, yeah, to help others go inward, explore what's there, and then either express it or transform it or release it, all in the name of just making that path, that spiral, a little smoother and able to flow, flow with life. I like yeah. that. I like that. I think of life a lot as a cycle, but a spiral's better because you're not just repeating the same thing. You're kind of repeating but still moving forward at the same time because it's a spiral and not yeah. just a circle. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It's progress. It, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Um mm -hmm. so spiral line. Spiral line. That sounds like that could be a that could be a song from the 70s. Mm. Uh sweet spiral line. Mm -hmm. da, 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 no, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> um I was going to ask you what does that look like? If I'm your customer, how do I find you and what happens when I hire you or book your company? Well, the, the beautiful thing is that I feel it's very much still in evolution. So um, initially, I kind of thought it was going to be this, this, and this. But, you know, uh, owning a business, as I've learned, you can't think like that. And it's always changing and evolving. So um, the home base, I guess, would be my website, which is spiraline.net. And I also am very active on Instagram and Facebook. Um, through those platforms, um, sharing information about the different things that I got going on. So as of now, um, I have cacao ceremonies and chakra dance sessions. I've developed a youth wellness program because I really feel that all of these things, this path alignment, finding balance, finding harmony, it's not just for grown people, it's also for children. Um, and my experience as a teacher, I'm kind of, you know, discovering ways to blend it all together. So I'm also going to be coming soon to a yoga studio in the Suwannee area, working here at Mixed Deity to provide events. And then I have a bazillion ideas running around in my mind for courses um, about cacao, about bringing ritual to life, um, and, and lots more. So yeah. So, but through the website, I guess, would be the, the main event, or the main uh, holding space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, uh, that's, a good, that's a good starting point then. So, I'm wondering, if I'm bumping into somebody on the street and they're telling me about their life, um, what, if they tell me, what are the things that they would tell me about their life that would make me say, hey, I know who you should talk to. You need to talk to uh, Angelica at Spiraline. You, you take this number. Check, check them out. Like, what are the, what are the things that, that really uh, typify your customers? Your, I don't want to say customers. What is that? What's the right word? Your clientele? Your... I'm still trying to find the right okay. word, honestly. <laughs> you okay. Um, but, you know, whatever the word is, it, it really is an honor um, for me to receive people that are, I guess, searching. My, the kind of little tagline that initially came was 
spiraling, you know, finding harmony within. So people that are looking for harmony, looking for balance, um, for healing, for just getting through the hard times, looking for tools to deal with things that are difficult in life. Um, yeah, feeling like you can't quite figure out why things aren't flowing, you know. So, again, it's really about exploring and kind of becoming aware of what are you dealing with inside and, and yeah, looking for ways to, to express it. Is this kind of in the sort of life coaching vein or...? It's in the same vein for sure. Okay. Yeah, because it's all about, you know, figuring, figuring out ways to be more satisfied in life, more happy. And so it's definitely the same kind of thing, but I guess life coaching would be more someone telling you what to do, where I guess my goal is more to provide experiences uh, or opportunities that then you can come into and you kind of discover on your own, you know, what's in there. I see. Right. And you, um, speaking of creating experiences, you brought a drink to the Creative Drinking Club. Yes. Tell us about that. And okay. let's, let's have some of it. Well, it, it is cacao, so that's why I thought I'll pour it out um, as I talk about what's going on. Um, but this cacao is Peruvian cacao. And, ah, oh, sorry. Peruvian cacao. So, yeah. it literally comes from Peru? Yeah, it literally comes from Peru. There's a couple of different companies of cacao I love. Uh, this one is, I call K-Cacao, K-A-K-A-O. And they work with a small farm in Peru. Um, it's a native strain cacao, which there's a lot of different types. And these things matter. <laughs> nice. Which I could get into a whole <laughs> I did, we, offshoot we, about that. But. We did a cacao ceremony here once before, and they gave me like a, like a half a shot glass of cacao. Oh. And then they made me sit and watch it for like 20 minutes while they did the like verbal ceremony thing. And by the time I drank it, it was cold and gooey and tiny. And you just poured a huge glass <laughs> of hot, steaming goodness. I started to do a lot of inner healing uh, about three years ago. And I was looking for tools that, you know, didn't involve trips to other countries and big, you know, deep experiences, just something more ordinary. And uh, I heard about cacao from one of my friends. Cacao is a plant medicine, but it's extremely gentle, extremely loving. Um, and if it is sourced, you know, from an, in, in an ethical way, uh, it also just carries so much beauty and love from the people that are preparing it. So this particular cacao, um, this is the cacao that I basically did my training with. As I started to uh, work with cacao more, I just, I instantly fell in love and, um, you know, I wanted to go deeper. So I started to work with it more often. Um, and then, yes, I came across this particular kind. They had a, a training program, which basically was a lot of learning about how to facilitate in ceremony, what it's like to hold space and just some of the things that you need to think about if you're in that position. Um, but then also learning more about the history of the plant and really just having a lot of ceremony, a lot of time to connect uh, with it one-on-one -on -one and just listening, you know, and and by through listening, hearing, yes, I kind of felt like I received the blessing to, to go forward and, and share uh, with others. And then also through that, I was able to kind of develop my own means of facilitation because ceremonies can, can range very well greatly from extremely traditional um, to not at all and I always wanted to embrace the the culture and the tradition the history of it always holding that in honor but not in such a deep way that it was kind of crossing you know cultural appropriation lines or anything like really just kind of make it my own and what it meant to me and that's a beautiful thing about uh, the relationship with cacao is you know, if you if you do start to work with uh, work with it regularly, you know your own kind of ways will develop. And so, for me, um, some of the I guess most important things are always dropping in with a blessing. You know, giving some gratitude and acknowledgement to the earth, to the to the different people, the indigenous wisdom, um, 
the the sacredness that this has carried for centuries. So always giving, you know, acknowledgement to that. But then moving into, um, I've kind of developed these meditations that are like these visionings. Uh, they're activating, you know, um, it's quite visual in my mind, but it doesn't have to be received that way. It can just also be felt or just heard and um, about going inward in some way and kind of going on a journey, exploring different things. Um, yeah. Can I ask you, mm -hmm. you make this yourself. You can't, you can't just like go to Starbucks and say, I'll have a double maca caviato or anything like that, can you? I mean, I know you can get chocolate there, but it's not the same, right? It's absolutely not the absolutely same. Absolutely not the same. So you make this, yeah. your, and you put, a, it's not just one ingredient, you have other ingredients. You, it's like your own recipe? Well, the it, that varies as well. So this particular one has a little bit of panela um, because they make a blend that kind of already comes with a little bit of chili, a little bit of panela, but it's all sourced from Peru. And this is ground with a stone grinder. Um, so it's really nice because you can just put a few tablespoons in, mix it with hot liquid and, and drink. But if I'm using some of the other types, I might be chopping from the block or melting it. Um, and adding cayenne because that always, that's an activator. So it helps to activate the ingredients. Maybe a little sweetener. Um, and yeah, and a nice hefty dose of the cacao. So this is about how much I'd be serving, which is, this is a 10 ounce cup. It's a full, a full on, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, and this is actually more of a nourishing because I, I didn't think, you know, we needed... The, the full ceremonial um, amount. So that's something else I don't always just sit in ceremony. I drink it a lot just for a nourishing drink because it is a powerhouse of, you know, feel-good transmitters and iron and magnesium. Um, but, yeah, so this one I would order. Source from Peru. Mix it with cayenne, sweetener, um, cinnamon, and, um, yeah. So the, the drink has, um, has some spiritual aspects to it, but it also is just quite simply healthy for you? Very healthy and very um, stimulating as well because it has theobromine. So that is wonderful because it stimulates you, but without the like caffeine, jittery oh, type of feel. Oh, okay. Yeah, cacao can have a little caffeine depending on what type it is, but it's very, very minimal. The theobromine is really is what gets you because it opens up, it's a vasodilator, it opens up your cells. So the feeling that you get when you're sitting with cacao and you're drinking, you get this feeling of like expansiveness and flow, but that part of what causes that is is that actually everything is flowing and expanding within you. You know, your heart is just beating more blood through it, more oxygen, um, your cells are opening, literally. So that's part of the magic of it, yeah. Nice, you seem pretty mm -hmm. passionate about this. Um, they do, am I, correct me if I'm right or wrong, actually, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you, you make some videos of you making the cacao uh, and post them online somewhere? If somebody well, wanted to actually see <laughs> one of these videos of you making making the drink from scratch, is that is that a thing? Did I understand that correctly? So there's one, as of now, there's one. Uh, it's my debut video, and it's in portrait mode, <laughs> which I feel silly about. That's okay. You're modern. That's the new mode. That's the new mode. This this uh, uh, sixteen nine format. That's for old people. Yeah, portrait mode's the way to go. Uh, yeah, so that was the, that was the debut, and I made that to share just kind of, you know, from the kitchen, what it looks like, preparing the cacao, um, but I actually have plans to, that really kind of kicked me off, I have plans to start releasing some other videos of some of the meditations that I create, as well as some of the songs that I have um, been inspired to sing while I'm preparing cacao, um, because that's one of the beautiful things is so you drink it, this, all this nice flow starts happening, and then I love to create. So uh, it's a really good, you know, uh, creator ally as well, whether moving or singing or writing or art. Um, it really helps, helps those things flow. So nice. A lot of that is going to be coming to YouTube. I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to dive right in. Actually, Very cool. To Very all cool. Yeah. So let's talk real quick about the event. So let's give us the lowdown. The, the, the when is it? Where is it? How do people get tickets? Let's get some nitty gritty on that, and then tell us a little bit what person could expect at connecting through cacao. 
with Angelica. Okay, so Connected Through Cacao, the title, that's going to be the on the ongoing title. Um, these are going to be coming regularly, almost monthly, thereabouts. But the idea is that, yes, you connect. So cacao is a connector. It connects you inward. It connects you to each other. Um, and it connects you to things greater than yourself. So all of these are quite possible and likely, you know, when you sit um, in circle with cacao. And then the particular theme of this one is going to be easing into flow. So it's going to be about connecting with the element of water and activating the flow uh, within. So creative flow, just that sense of flow, um, being able to go with the flow, but also carving your way. Not you know, we're not just helplessly riding the river, right? We can also carve our way into things. So it's really about that and what to expect would, yeah, we'll drop in with the blessing, um, begin to drink the cacao, a little bit of sharing, and then a visualization activating meditation experience, some breath work, some time to reflect. I believe there will be some movement for this one. Um, because it's a lot about, yeah, going in, finding out what's there, but then embodying that. So I love to do that through movement. It's really good to, because uh, this gets things moving, and so then you have to do something with it, right? And that'll be what... About how, about, about how long is the, uh, the event? Mm, depending on how many people, we have space for two hours. So in all honesty, you know, it will be probably about an hour and a half complete but just in case there's a lot of people decide to show up and a lot of sharing that happens then wanted there to be enough space you know for that there's a talk back portion where you, you communicate and they talk back with you yeah is it so, more presentational more interconnected well it's it's a little bit of everything so um because whatever the theme is there's you know always going to be a little bit that i'd like to to basically food for thought things mm. to kind of chew on um, as you go through the experiences, but then, yeah, experiential. So there's always experiential time for some inner reflection, usually through journaling, um, but then also time to share. Because sitting in circle, one thing I've definitely learned is when other people share so many times, that's the medicine that I needed, you know? Um, and... I love to share in circle. You know, it's wonderful to be witnessed. It is also just wonderful to be uh, in a safe space with like-minded people. You know, um, and some of these visual, you know, visualizations can be very powerful. So, yeah, the opportunity to share is always there and welcome, but not forced. You know, because it's really about everyone being comfortable. Um, and sometimes that means you don't say anything; you just experience it and go home and think. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, can you tell us when is the next one and where do we get tickets? So the next one is April 3rd, which is a Sunday afternoon, and it will be at 3.30 here at Mixed Deity. Tickets you can get on the Mixed Deity site. I believe it's mixeddeity.com slash cacao. Mm -hmm. uh, also on my website, um, www.spiraline.net, there will be a link that you can connect the next duty site. Sweet spiral line. <laughs> that just goes right into my head every time. I usually love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this cacao is sweet. It works. It, 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 it's hitting on all, all cylinders. Mm -hmm. um, okay. All that sounds uh, really fun. Um, one more thing I want to chat with you about. You are a member here at Mixed Deity Studios? Yes. Can you tell us about... Um, how you came upon us, what you think of the membership, why you became a member, what you would say to other people who might, who you would recommend checking it out for a membership. What's your whole member experience here? Okay. So I heard about Mixed Deity the first time through Soul Dance. Um, I was going to their ecstatic dances, Candler Park, and then they were having an event here. And I saw some pictures, and so that caught my eye. And um, I went to the website, started watching the videos, and I'm just kind of sitting there with my mouth hanging open, being like, this place is here, where, you know, and where I live. Um, and so 
then just a couple of days later, another member mentioned being a member, and I didn't even know that. And she's like, yeah, you should come and check it out. So we came on a Tuesday and just checked it out. And then I came to the circle and I joined that night because this place, uh, it's one of those things where something just comes into your life and like, it's so right, you know, and this, this place was one of those things. And I knew that in what I'm trying to do, the big transition I've made into starting my business, into trying to bring these services to people, you know, I was kind of like beating my head on the wall, not really knowing where to go, what to do, who to connect with. And then this happened. And from the moment it began, it's been like a portal of potential. I mean, that's kind of what I've come to think of it as, like a portal of potential because I have been meeting so many people and it is not just ordinary people. I mean, there are just people bursting with this creative force and creative energy and those things are contagious. They are also amplifiers. So when I'm here amongst the other people, what I'm wanting to do has somewhere to go. It's being inspired by all these other people and their thoughts and ideas. And every single time I've been here, you know, has been a completely different experience. So it's like, I just, I have no idea what's going to happen. It's <laughs> magical it. <laughs> and, but it is like, it creates momentum and, you know, so many things have already happened. And anyway, so pure potential momentum, energy, interesting people, inspiration all over the place. This these are the things that are are happening as a result of joining for, you know, for an extremely reasonable amount per month. Um and yeah, and I just love I love that it's a nonprofit. I love that the idea is come in here and give us your craziest idea and we'll try to make it happen. Yeah. Like I just love everything about it and um and yeah, and it has me very excited and it's creating opportunities and I love the community feel of it, you know, and that's something that I want to be a part of, which, yes, the cacao, you know, it also is definitely about, again, connecting to other people, um, but in that heart space. So that's the kind of things I want to bring, you know, or things that are going to connect and, and yeah, and this place is, is just perfect, so... And now we have cacao ceremonies, mm -hmm. thanks to Angelica and Spiraline. Sweet. I keep wanting to say spi spirali spirulina. Spirulina. Oh, there's all kinds that, of that. Yeah, I that's what keeps messing me up. I went through such a process like, to make the name, <laughs> and then I'm like, dang, because now I'm like discovering all the things that you know people <laughs> either think it's this is how you say it, this is how you spell it, but it's fine. It's fine because that's what it is. It provokes a <laughs> conversation, which is what you want in a good name. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Yeah, we haven't even toasted yet. Cheers. Mm. I still got some left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> April 3rd at 3 o'clock? 3.30. April 3rd at 3.30. Do they need to be... Is that when it starts or is that when the doors open? That is when it starts. Ah. So a few minutes so, early would be great because ceremony is not really a thing you want to be showing up yeah. too late. If you're on time, know. you're late. So show up early. Yeah. 3 o'clock. Uh, doors. 3.30. Doors mm -hmm. close. Mm -hmm. That'd be here at 3.29. Yeah. Oh, and FYI, members are just pay what you can. And non-members, very, very accessible at $25, so. Oh, that's Not right. sure if I'm supposed to mention No, that. no, that's great. That's but great. But it's good because, you know, things, yeah. Yeah, so it's accessible to everybody. If you happen to be a member here at Mixed Deity Studios, you have the opportunity to name your own price. That's something we like to do to make sure that everybody has access to everything. Um, and uh, so that's fantastic. And if you're, you know, if you're not a joiner, that's fine. It's how much is the regular non-member price? Twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five. Yeah. Twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Well, is there anything else you we should uh, touch on before we go? Um, just a quick mention that another thing that is going to be coming soon is chakra dance. So you bring a chakra dance here? Chakra dance. Yeah, that'll be toward the end of April. And. Uh, so if that sounds interesting, I mean, it's basically dancing and uh, working with the chakras. Just keep an eye out for that as well. Okay, chakra <laughs> dance. I don't know exactly what that is, but I'm going to find out, and so will you, on the next episode of the Creative Drinking Club. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> Angelica, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I'll see you April 3rd, or maybe sooner. 
Maybe sooner. You know, around the halls. <laughs> yeah. I think you would do a really good job. Oh, I know I would. Mm-hmm. Okay.